Hello, it's Connie from Prosperity Finance, sharing the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. I'm Connie. I hope everything is well with you. Now, in today's video, I'm going to uh, give you a reminder. If you are looking to borrow money to do something this year and you have existing rental property or you are looking to buy a rental property, then please act as soon as possible. Because if you keep waiting, then potentially your borrowing capacity may reduce dramatically. Why is that? Let's have a look. I'm sure you already heard that the government has introduced a new rule in terms of interest deductibility. Now, if you are buying a investment property post 27th March or on 27th March, in from 1st October this year, all the interest uh, that you borrowed for purchasing the rental property cannot be offset against the rental income. So that means your rental property business looks more profitable going forward. Uh, but in fact, you still have to pay interest, right? It's, there's no free lunch. Uh, but interest expense will not be included in the, in the expense item. Therefore, you have to pay more tax. Now, if you already own the rental property before the 27th March, um, you, you are luckier. I know it's still um, very sad news uh, for existing investors, but at least we have four years. Get ready. Um, so the entry deductibility will phase out over four years. But either scenario, um, you will have less, less cash in your pocket because you have to pay more tax going forward. So lender, obviously, they they know uh, you will have less cash to service a loan. So at the moment, they are reviewing their uh, lending policy. It's going to take a bit of time, you know, to make any significant change and also test the new policy, etc. However, it's, it's a matter of the time. So if you are looking to borrow money and you rely on rental property, either with existing rental property or you expect to buy a rental property so you have the new rental income, uh, then your borrowing capacity looks like going to reduce dramatically. So it's best to act now. Now, just to give you an idea, the impact. Although we don't really know what the policy is going to change, how it's going to change, but just to give you an idea uh, how much um, in real, how much it's going to impact. With our clients, the average loan size is about 750k to 800k. Now, let's say that's the uh, investment loan per property. Now, let's multiply by the interest rates of 2.29% at the moment. So the annual interest cost is about 17000 Okay. Now, let's say you cannot claim 17000 as expense going forward. Therefore, you need to pay tax on it, right? So let's say your tax rate is 33%. So 17,000 multiplied by 33,000 is 33% equals 5,700, right? So that means you will have $5,700 less than um, before the new policy uh, become effective. So what that means is your borrowing capacity would reduce about 60K to 70K as a result. Okay, because your surplus cash is five thousand seven hundred less, so you don't you have less borrowing capacity or servicing ability. So this is just to give you an idea, but we really don't know uh, how the bank going to change their lending policy in terms of servicing ability if you use rental income as part of your total income. Uh, so the bank might look at the test rates at the moment. Uh, they might use a higher test rates for investors or invest investment loan, or um, they discount more on the uh, rental income or combination of the both. Uh, we don't know yet. But what I really want to uh, send a message is um, act now, okay? So if you are looking to upgrade home and you don't want to sell the existing home, you want to rent it out, or you want to buy a rental property because a lot of people are still looking to buy rental property despite that policy because investing is a long-term game and there's a lot of other reasons that they still want to invest in investment property okay um, and thirdly is if you plan to 
build um, new houses on the existing land, uh, either on your homeland or investment property land, because um, a lot of people are incentive to do that now, given the new build are exempt from bright line rule, exempt from uh, potentially exempt from entry deductibility rule. Uh, there will be more incentive to build new houses if you have a big land, you know, big enough. So if you fall into these categories, uh, then probably act as soon as possible. But potentially, your budget will be um, much more than if you wait for a few months down the track. Okay, so that give you more options and more uh, budget and, and probably a better uh, property. All right. Thank you so much for waiting. I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you like our video, please feel free to click um, the uh, like button or subscribe button. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.